All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. And here we have a new tweet uh, from Team Dokkaner. Uh, and he's telling us that it looks like a new Dragon Ball Heroes collab uh, will be coming soon to JP. Yeah, he made sure to say JP right there. Uh, I do still think Global will eventually get the Heroes cards at some point. I mean, hopefully. Uh, but we'll see. So, what's interesting about this is that Team Dokkaner uh, does not specify if it's a collab with world mission in spe like specifically dragon ball heroes world mission the switch game or if it's just like another collab with dragon ball heroes i mean it is essentially the same thing but if it was a collab based uh, entirely around uh world mission uh then i think you know we would be very likely to get this character right here uh silas or silas however you want to say his name uh he could be very likely uh now team dokkaner mentions it's going to bring a bunch of new characters uh, the timing of his tweet right now tells me this is probably what we're going to get uh, about, about at the start of July. Uh, and I would suspect that V-Jump might have info related to this as well. Uh, we are expecting V-Jump, I mean, at this point, any day now. Uh, and I'd say there's a good chance it probably will have uh, some of these Dragon Ball Hero characters uh, in there as a possibility. Now... One thing I wanted to do is I wanted to take a look at the history of collab banners that Dokkan has done uh, with the various different Dragon Ball games. Uh, the one notable exception is Xenoverse 2. I don't know why Xenoverse 2 never had, uh, like, a collab banner. Uh, especially because, you know, there's certainly characters like that form of Mira from Xenoverse 2, I mean... To be honest, I think he would make a great Dokkan Fest exclusive. Uh, that ver like after he absorbs Toa and he kind of has like that Super Saiyan Four look, I think that Mira would be fantastic. Uh, you know, as a Dokkan Festival exclusive card, uh, I think Demigra would make a fantastic Dokkan Festival exclusive card as well uh, with the various different transformations he has and such. Right. So, this is the, the Xenoverse banner. Now, funny enough, I couldn't find the JP version of this. Uh, it do, like, DBZ Space actually doesn't go far enough back uh, to get the Xenoverse collab summon. But, I mean, the thing with all these collab summons, as we're going to go through and look at, that is very nice, is they usually only have the new collab uh, units on there. So, if it's something you're going to summon on as, like, a free-to-play player or something like that, your chances of getting the characters are very high. Now, this banner in particular is a little interesting in that Toa and Mira have been removed from the pool of characters that are available. I have no idea why. There's a few others that have been as well, like Tech Final Form Frieza, and then there was a, an early, early SDR Super Saiyan Goku that were also removed from the pool of characters. But interestingly enough, Trunks and Demigra, uh, they are still there. You could still pull them, but Toa and Mira are not available to be pulled. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with licensing or anything like that. I just, for whatever reason, they took them off the banners. Maybe they will be scheduled for a Dokkan Awakening at some point, maybe even soon. I, that would be very cool. Uh, next, we have a Dragon Ball Fusions banner. Uh, this one, you know, uh, both the, the last one was, I believe, in June of 2016 for Global. And then this one right here in uh, September of 2016. This is, of course, for JP. Uh, this is a collab with the Dragon Ball Fusions characters. Now, as you guys know, for a long time, these characters were not available. But now they are available. Uh, they're in the general SSR pool. All of these characters have been added to the general SSR pool. You know, Pandel, Karoli, uh, you know, the Chow Man, all of these units are now available. I've rambled a few of these. Uh, Bra Pan, I rainbowed. I have to do a video on her still. Uh, I rainbowed uh, Kuliza. I got to do a video on him still. And then Pandel has been one of the best um, support type units on the fusion category for quite a while. So there's this fusion collab. Now, Dragon Ball Heroes. So the main reason I decided to pull up all of the old collab like uh, summon banners is I wanted to point out that it's a little odd that they would drop the collab summon like now. Because, I mean, if Team Dokkan is tweeting about it, that means it's very likely to be the next banner on JP, right? So, I'm guessing either the last week of June, you know, first week of July, something along those lines is when we're going to get these Heroes characters, right? Well, usually, when these Heroes banners drop, it's in November, which I, I believe is right around the anniversary of Heroes, right? I believe is in November, uh, that's when we got, like, the new characters last year, the Supreme Opie of Time, as well as the Xeno Super Saiyan 3s. And then, you know, two years ago, um, that was when we got the Super Saiyan Gohan and Trunks. So, uh, it is interesting to see. 
Now, this banner right here, this was, again, around that time-ish, sort of, like, uh, you know, this is in October right here. Uh, the same thing, it's only just got these units. Funny enough, this PyCon unit, I actually don't have full dupes on him. I do on the others, you know, uh, Gotenks, of course, uh, does Dokkan Awaken into Super Saiyan 3 adult Gotenks. I might... If I could pull more copies of this guy in the future, I'll probably keep him, because right now he's the only Super Saiyan Gotenks, you know, adult there is, because he eventually awakens into Super Saiyan 3 adult Gotenks, right? So that's interesting. Uh, then if we keep going, I'll start moving a little bit quicker. Uh, the Fusions banner came back out because uh, a couple of them got Dokkan Awakenings. I believe it was for Karoli, uh, Pandel, and Brapan, and then uh, Barlak got his Awakening later on. Uh, Janembu, Kuliza, and Shao Man still kind of just sitting there, not really doing much nowadays. Uh, then we move on, we have the Aralite banner. Now, of course, the Aralite banner has been back twice on JP. It only showed up once on Global. Uh, these characters, of course, have never, you know, migrated off of this banner. Uh, and then, you know, the physical Aralite in particular is very, very good. Uh, and she really could be useful for that Dokkan Fest Kid Goku team even now. Uh, so it would be nice if they would somehow release these characters back under the general SSR pool or whatever. Arale would become one of the better units you could get from the general SSR pool. And then, of course, this SCR Arale right here is an AoE unit, so that could be helpful. Uh, then we have this banner right here. Now, this one, this is the one time where it, it, it came at sort of an odd time. This banner, the Heroes banner, the same one, this came out alongside uh, Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks, because if you guys remember, that is when this Gotenks actually got his Dokkan Awakening, was from Super Saiyan 3 Physical Gotenks' Dokkan event. Now, it's not... I, they haven't done this with any of these other, like, huge, uh, you know, Heroes units or Fusions units or anything like that, where, like, a new Dokkan Festival exclusive has actually caused them to get an Awakening. But I, I'm sure it could happen again eventually, right? Like, some of these characters, like Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, would be very good if he got a Dokkan Awakening. Like, very, very good. Uh, speaking of him, the Super Saiyan 3 team really needs the upgrade, by the way, so... Any buffs to Super Saiyan 3 units we could get will very, very much help out that team. Uh, as of this moment, I'm not entirely sure if it's possible to beat the Legendary Goku event with it. I've tried a few times, but I, I want to bunker down. I'll probably do a stream maybe over on Twitch, uh, really trying to beat it with that uh, Super Saiyan 3 team. It's very difficult to do. Uh, but here the banner came back. Uh, I believe... Yeah, okay, okay, so it was just, uh, the, how many featured? There are seven. Okay, so now there's seven Heroes SSRs right here at this point. Um... Trunks and Gohan are very good. Darkness Toa is solid. The rest, you know, falling off a bit. Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks was also good. This was in that same time frame, by the way. This came out with Super Saiyan 3 Bardock uh, about that same time, uh, you know, in November. Uh, then next, we had the Dragon Ball Fighters collab banner, which only brought really two fighters characters on the banner. And then, of course, we had the Android 21 farmable from the story event. But, you know, another uh, bunch of characters that were added to the general SSR pool. Uh, I still feel like Android 21 would make Mara, a Dokkan Festival exclusive, like, I think she very easily could have one, maybe her, her evil, like, her evil transformed form when she, uh, absorbs Cell, that could definitely get its own Dokkan Festival exclusive, I think, uh, and then here we have the last Heroes banner that has arrived, uh, this, again, was back in November, uh, this one, now, these units are very good, um, it, the Xeno Super Saiyan 3s, very, very solid, that Xeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku in particular is great, a very strong defensive unit, uh, like Janemba, he has the guard ability active 100% of the time. That's very rare to have. Uh, Supremo Pie of Time is one of the better support type units for a couple categories. Uh, Super Mira was able to infinitely stack his defense, so he's great for the Legendary Goku event. Uh, I did Rainbow Demigra, but I haven't used them uh, much or done a video on him yet. But he gives Extreme Types key, which is helpful. And then Dark Mask King and Black Mask Saiyan. Uh, they're solid units as well. And then the previous Heroes units were the only unfeatured SSRs on the banner. So... Looks like it was a 7% featured rate and a 3% unfeatured rate. Yeah, th this is why uh, I do not have this PyCon uh, rainbowed yet, but I do have all the others. I remember chasing uh, this Gotenks for a while because I needed one copy of him and I had to get him unfeatured. And I remember pulling, I pulled like 35 Black Mass Saiyans or something like that. Crazy. But I, I think there's a small chance we could see some of these units awaken, like, if they awaken this guy, like, he becomes so crazy. But, again, I really feel like the Super Saiyan 3 team needs it. You know what else could happen? I suppose if they're going to drop these Heroes units, they could also drop 
the global exclusive Super Saiyan 3 Vegetas right now. That could make sense and really give the Super Saiyan 3 category team a nice buff. Uh, now, in terms of what units might come, uh, again, if it's a collab specifically with World Mission, then I think Silas is very possible. He does also have a transformed version over here that looks, you know, looks pretty cool. Again, I could see that as maybe being a Dokkan event. We probably won't get one, but like that's that's such a cool like Dokkan event to kind of switch it up from the normal stuff, right? Uh, Great Saiyan Man number three, I think, is a distinct possibility. Uh, that that could be cool. You know, he could be an interesting support type unit for. I don't know. I don't know what category. Oh, what if category or something? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Great Saiyan Man three is definitely something that could come. Now, if it's just like a normal heroes collab, and we're just gonna get normal banner units, there are a couple in particular I would like to see. Golden Cooler number one is very very awesome. But again. I, like, if they're gonna do Golden Cooler, I, I, I gotta see him as a Dokkan Festival exclusive. Like, I want him to be, like, remember how good Physical Final Form Cooler was when he first came out? I would love to see Golden Cooler, uh, in that same mold just as good. And again, the Wicked Bloodline team, you know, it, it, it wouldn't hurt to flesh that out a little bit. You know, give us a good Mecha Frieza, give us a good King Cold, give us a good Chilled. If not, give us Golden Freaking Cooler, man. He would be fantastic for the Wicked Bloodline team. Uh, and then, you know, maybe like Enhanced Transformation. There's some other teams where this cooler, I think, could be very, very good. Uh, and I think him as a Dokkan Festival exclusive, like, am I, cr am I crazy to think that would sell? Like, people would summon like crazy for Golden Cooler. Don't play with me. So, like, they, they got to figure out, like, I don't know if it's because they're not putting these units on global as to why they don't make them like Dokkan Fest exclusives, but they need to. And then a lot of people are going to say they want to see the Super Saiyan 4s, right? Super Saiyan 4 Bardock, Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Super Saiyan 4, you know, Gogeta, Vegito, all those units. But in particular, what I actually want to see is Super Saiyan 3 Vegito and Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta. Uh, those are the units I want to see because, again... Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 team really needs some strength added to it. Uh, the Super Saiyan 3 team right now has definitely, I think, fallen behind a lot of other teams. Uh, it doesn't help that LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, like, either he does no damage at all or his defense is super, super low. Like, he always has a net negative with him being out there. Yeah, it's cool. He could do very, very high amounts of damage, but I don't think it works very well. Uh, with the Super Saiyan 3 team that he's on, where there's not a, a lot of great defensive units around him, right? Like, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock can be a very good defensive unit, but he has to super first, so he can't be in the first slot. And then LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, he also can't be in the first slot, because you're very, very rarely going to get his 18 key super attack in that first slot. So, uh, I... I would love to see, like, a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito Dokkan Festival exclusive. Give, like, make him busted. Give him counters. All of that. He could be very interesting. Really be a massive addition. Like, think of some of the teams. Like, so, Patara gets way better. Gets another option. Super Saiyan 3. Like, there's just a whole bunch of teams that definitely get a lot, a lot of extra juice from, like, a Super Saiyan 3 Vegito or a Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, and then, of course, there's also the Xeno versions of these characters, like, it's not just, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, but there's Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegito, Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, and Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Gogeta, so there's, like, Heroes just is, like, for real, for real, endless content and endless characters, so uh, I am very excited that we're getting a new Heroes banner, Again, I, I do hope they give us some of the goofier stuff. You know, there's all the, like, demon patrollers and all that stuff. You know, give us Mira's crazy form. You know, give us Demigra's crazy form. But again, I, I think now really would be a good time to begin making some of these characters Dokkan Festival exclusives. Because it, it would be very odd to just have, like, you know, like, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, but he's not, like, a Dokkan Festival exclusive, right? Like, that that would just kind of sit a little funny. So, uh, we'll see what they do. Um, regardless, I think it's going to be very hype. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities for really cool characters. Again, I would say the number one hero's character that would probably get me excited is Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. 
uh, just because of, of the, the role he would fulfill in game. But like, certainly like Super Saiyan 4 Broly, a lot of those characters could be good. Uh, Beat the Avatar, I think is another possibility we could potentially see Beat be added into the game. A uh, lot of, lot of possibilities. So, you know, let me know which uh, heroes characters you guys would like to see. Uh, you know, I, I just put a couple down here that I think would be really, really cool. Um, maybe Golden Cooler's not really that realistic since they just dropped LR Full Power Frieza, but, I mean, man, him, AGL Final Form Frieza, the physical, uh, super, or, uh, second form Frieza, and now Golden Cooler, like, that would be such a massive upgrade to that team, so, uh, we'll finish up here, I'm super hyped, again, I think there's a good chance we will see info related to this in V-Jump coming soon in a couple of days, uh, and it's probably the next banner coming to JP Dokkan, so, thanks guys for watching, let me know who y'all want to see in here, and I'll catch you guys next time.